name's Gina. If you're new here, I had BSG surgery on 425-22, and today I'm going to show you my top 10 must-haves for your first eight weeks of surgery. This is basically everything that I used um, within my first eight weeks that I think helped me stay on track, so if you want to know more, just keep watching. Okay, so before we get started, I have a little bit of a different setup. I cleaned my office a little bit, and I have a new camera, so if this looks better or worse than before, or sounds better or worse, let me know, because uh, this was a trial run, basically. Um, but let's get started. So number one is going to be a tape measure. Um, as much as you might not want to track uh, all your measurements before surgery, um, it's definitely a good idea, because if you're anything like me, you're not going to, like, I don't lose weight every single week, or if I do, it's very minimal, but I will still lose, like, three to four inches a week, which is crazy how that works. Um, so just for your peace of mind and to see how your body's changing overall every week, I would definitely recommend um, a tape measure. Now, if you're a little more extravagant, uh, you could also get some waist beads. So I order these offline. You don't have to order it. You can make it yourself. Um, this is also a really great way to track your progress without using a scale. Um, so I bought these right before surgery, and I measured like the top, let's see, measured like this part of my waist basically um, so then every week they're kind of like dropping until like my back gets a little bit thinner then they'll fall completely but you if you if you're on my Instagram you know you can see like the beads are like on an angle basically um, so I will link where I got these below um, but I love them they're very durable you can wear them all day um, so I usually just wear them in my pictures and then if I'm having like a fun day out I'll, I'll wear them also that is my number one. Okay, number two are a good set of scales. So obviously you're going to need a good body weight scale. Uh, I have the Fit Index one, which I think I've put in my videos before, but it's really great because it tells you everything you need to know from your weight to your BMI, to how much water you're retaining, and muscle you have. Um, so I definitely highly recommend that one for a body scale, but if you just have a normal scale, by all means, good enough. Um, you're also going to need a food scale. This is just one I got off Amazon, nothing special. Um, has a bunch of different units because some things I'll weigh out in grams versus ounces, um, just depending on what the package and the, um, like the serving suggestion, things like that. So just a little cheap scale. And then I also got a little espresso scale. Now I don't know what this is used for in regular life. If you're measuring out espresso, I have no idea. But it's tiny, it still has all the measurements, and the, the cap comes off, and you can like basically put it like this. And if you had something that was a little bit messy, you could put it in here and then rinse this off so you're not ruining um, your scale. So that is just something that fits right into my purse, um, and especially if you're on the go and want to make sure you're staying on track, I definitely recommend this. Number three is going to be a notebook. Um, now this is not going to help you physically, but it could help you mentally. So basically I got this to make sure I remembered everything um, from day one. So I started off with all of my measurements, all my weight, and all of my um, measurements with my tape measure. Then I go into basically every day I'm writing something down. So this was surgery day. I tried to remember as much as I could after anesthesia, kind of like what I was, what I got down that day, um, and then so on and so forth. Later down the line, I added some stickers. I'm tracking everything. Um, I tracked everything by hand for the first like six weeks, I think. Um, and I still try to do it when I remember, but sometimes if I'm on the go, it's just easier to throw it into my phone. Um, but this was really great in the beginning to kind of know how much protein things had. So like, okay, I had two ounces of cottage cheese and I didn't have to like go back to look. Like I knew I had two ounces of cottage cheese here and that's nine grams of protein or what, whatever it is. So for me, I like handwriting things down. It helps me remember more. Um, and I will never throw this out. It's my favorite thing um, when I remember to do it. But... Um, Will I keep a diary, a food log diary forever? Probably not. Uh, at least a written down version. But I think in the beginning it's really important for to help you remember how much you're getting in, what you got in, um, it, or if it sat well. 
And then when I would go to my checkup appointments, I would write all my questions down here so everything was in one place. So the next thing are gonna be cups. <laughs> and cups is like a little vague, um, but I'm gonna start with my drinking cups. So these are the Starbucks, obviously cold cups. Now they don't have to be Starbucks, this is just what I had. You can also order the exact same things, or the exact same one Starbucks uses just without the logo on Etsy. I'll link where I got these because you can get a five pack for like $15 instead of paying like four or $5 for one cup. Um, and they work just the same. So obviously in the beginning, you're not gonna be using the, the straw or the lid. Um, but when you do, then you'll get to, here's my cup for today basically with my water. Um, for me, I get a lot more down with a straw. I'm not like gulping it down, but I feel like I can get more down during the day with a straw once you're on that stage of your recovery. Um, but I like knowing these are 24 ounces. As long as I get two in, I'm at least at the, the bare minimum of what I need for the day. Um, so it's easy to keep track of this way. The other cups, which I do not have an example of because I'm out, are the four ounce, I'll put a picture here, the four ounce little cups that I portion out all my food in. Now originally I bought one ounce and two ounce cups, but they're such a waste because you're barely getting anything in them. Like I'm using them now just to use them up because I have them, but I would say definitely skip the one ounce cups. You, you don't need them. Um, maybe buy a small pack of the two ounce. Once you get into purees, I guess that's a good size. But if I were doing it all over again, I would just buy the four ounce cups um, for my main meal prep because they're a great size. They fit a lot. Um, they fit most of my protein for a meal. Um, so I would definitely have some sort of storage system in place. You can buy um, like washable ones, but like I would have, I would do dishes all the time. If I, I like to portion out everything. So for me, I don't know, I'm just too lazy, I guess, to like be washing all these little tiny cups and lids all the time. I just, for the first couple months, just buy a hundred pack and be done with it. Um, Cause I just ran out of a hundred now and I'm about eight weeks. I'm just finish, finishing eight weeks post-op, so um, obviously I won't buy them as frequent as I ha as I had been. Well, I just bought them the one time, but like I'll buy another pack, and I'm sure that'll last me longer than eight weeks. Especially as I go back to normal meal prepping, I'm not gonna like portion down all of my proteins into four ounce little cups. So that is number four. So number five, I don't have down here because it's my Ninja. Um, Ninja blender. You don't need to have a ninja. All you need is a little thing, but I basically use it every day. Uh, if I'm making a shake, um, right now I'm making like a strawberry banana shake with my Fair Life protein, and I'm blending it with ice and a frozen banana, and it's delicious. So really, I'm using it at least every other day. But also, you're going to need it for your purees if you're cooking yourself. Um, obviously, you can buy things like baby food and stuff like that. But for me. I like to cook everything myself and having um, a blender really helps getting everything pureed and whipped and um, even on soft foods um, if you wanted to make something soft and kind of break break down a little bit further um, it's great you don't need an expensive blender I started off with just like a little um, like one of the ones you see on the Instagram ads where like the cup just goes into it um, that's good enough, but I knew I wanted to make shakes down the line, so that's why I invested in the Ninja. Um, but yeah, definitely something you're gonna need for those first couple weeks. Number six is gonna be a good pill organizer. So you've seen mine many, many times. Um, you wanna make sure you have one that one you're visually gonna see. I leave this on my counter to remind me, hey, you need to take your vitamins. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take out my days and then this kind of travels around the house with me. I put it back in here just for the sake of this video, but this, when I was at work today, this one was literally sitting on my desk and I have timer set. So I know, okay, it's noon. I need to take my midday, um, calcium. So I have that and all I have left is my night ones. Um, also you want to have one that's a good size that'll fit everything you need. So these are the bariatric advantage uh, calcium chews and there's still plenty of room in there for other things. I also have my biotin and my pepsid for later. So and then I take pills basically three times a day, morning, morning, noon, and night. Um, so this is a good size. If I'm 
out and about. These easily throw into my purse so I know I'm with it at all times. Um, I've seen ones that are like round, like circul circular that fit, but I don't know if that would fit like my stuff. Um, basically, I got lucky that everything fit because I bought this before I knew what I was taking, basically. Um, and then when I went to go fill it for the first time, I'm like, thankfully it fit. So I love this one and I'll link it below. Number seven is going to be water enhancers. Now, I love a regular glass of water, but after a while, it gets kind of boring, especially when you can't have seltzers or soda anymore. Like, there's not that many options. So I'm going to show you what my favorite um, kind of water enhancers and other options are. So originally, like, I know people like drink Gatorade, but after surgery, Gatorade kind of, I don't know. It, it's not that it didn't sit well. It didn't taste right to me anymore. So I kind of like... I think I'm done with Gatorade a little bit. Um, in the first couple weeks, these crystal lights um, upset my stomach a tiny bit. They That seems to have gone now, so I don't know if it was just while I was healing. I kind of drank it a little too early on. But my favorite are the, um, it's probably not going to focus, the Raspberry Ice Crystal Light. I can only get it at certain stores. They don't sell it everywhere. Um, but anytime I see a box, I'm picking it up because it's the best flavor. Uh, I also have a little bit of black cherry, uh, Mio, and this has energy in it, so I literally only put like the tiniest bit in the water just for a little bit of flavor because I'm trying to stay away from caffeine as much as I can right now. Um, technically, I can have caffeine right now, but I was so addicted to it before, I do not want to go back to that. So like my morning coffee drink, it's decaf still, um, and then the thing I'm going to show you in a little bit is also decaf. It's just, I don't need it. I'm good with it, but this flavor is good, so I just put like a little dab in um, just for the flavor, not for the caffeine. Uh, next, I'm making a ton of cold uh, passion Tazo iced tea. Um, I used to work at a Starbucks, or a Starbucks inside Target, basically, but this was always my favorite. Always has been hot, iced, cold, room temp, I don't care. Um, but before, I would get it with like lemonade and sweetener, but now that my taste buds have changed a little bit, I can drink this straight, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I make like two liters of this at a time, sits in the fridge, um, and I don't have to feel bad. I'm getting all my fluids in, and it tastes wonderful. Sometimes I'll even like mix it with this if I make, like I'll make a half pitcher of this and like dump one of these in, because the flavors are really good together. And then the last thing I don't have down here because it's a big gallon and I didn't want, I didn't want to bring it downstairs, but I'll throw it right here. It's the, um, I think it's Arizona Decaf Green Tea Diet, Zero Green Tea, you'll see it right here. It's basically green tea that's caffeine free and has nothing in it. Um, it's again my favorite next to the Tazo Tea, next to the Tazo Tea. I'll switch back and forth between the two. Uh, you can mix it, you can do whatever, but it's just a great alternative than plain water. Um, and I feel like when I have my flavored stuff earlier, I can get a lot more down, and then I'll have like a regular glass, a regular cup of water towards the evening. Um, and it just feels like I'm having a treat, even though it's zero cals, zero everything. Um, it's definitely something that you want to find your flavor, make sure you have it in stock. And sip away because getting those 64 in every day can be a challenge. <laughs> Number eight is going to be, if I can pick it up, my medicine basket. Um, now you don't need to be as excessive as I am, again, but I like to have everything I need all in one so I know where it is if I run out of something. And especially, now I live alone so this doesn't apply to me, but if you have a family and you need to make sure that no one else touches your stuff, you can go, hey, this is mom's basket. Do not touch. Leave it alone. Like, don't take anything from it. Or you can hide it away a lot easier. So I just have all my vitamins, all my prescriptions, everything in one go-to place. So I know where it is. Um, and I know no one else will touch it. <laughs> so that's just, it's not really something that helps me physically. But, again, organizing-wise, this helps because I can just grab it, refill like, I need to refill my vitamins tomorrow, so I just grab this down, put everything in, and I'm done again for the week. So, highly recommend staying organized, uh, making sure no one else is touching your stuff, 
and then you can hide it away easily too. And the basket's cute. <laughs> Number nine is actually something I didn't have to buy pre-surgery. I already had it. Um, and it definitely came in use during the pandemic. This is my coffee maker. It's disgusting because I've had it for years. Um, and I used to have it with me when I went to build, when I went into work at the building. Um, but now I work from home, so it's at my home desk. But this is basically just a mini hot plate that warms your coffee, you can put your coffee mug on it. But if you use a little glass bowl, it'll keep your food hot or your soup hot while you eat it. Because food gets cold uh, when you eat it when you're on VSG, just because you're taking, you know, the 20 to 30 minutes to eat something. So right now, I don't use it as much as I did before, um, just because like I'm eating lunch meat and cheese and stuff like that, that doesn't need to be hot. But when I was having soups, um, in my full liquid stage purees things like that it was great i would just put like my two ounces of soup in there if i was working set it you know turn it on and let the soup stay nice and hot while i finished every last bite so definitely recommend um and even if you're just drinking coffee hot coffee i don't i don't usually drink hot coffee a ton anymore um but if i was like you obviously can't drink it down that fast anymore so it 10 out of 10 works on coffee mugs. I've used that before in the past. So definitely if you have a problem with like being grossed out by food when it gets like lukewarm, definitely invest in one of those heaters. Just make sure you use a glass or ceramic bowl because plastic, you'll be sorry. Number 10 and the last thing that I use to this day are baby spoons and little bowls like this. Um, so I had to basically go out and buy all this stuff because I don't have kids. Um, but these, I, I think I got these at Target and these I got online on Amazon. Uh, they're just like the munchkin ones, which I think you can get anywhere. But this is great too, so you could still like pile up your dish like you used to. But now it's just miniature and it actually is the portion size you need. And all the little spoons and forks I have, I'll link below. But they definitely help you with not taking too big of bites because sometimes I'll just grab like I still use these for like um, puddings and um, I don't really eat soup too much anymore but sometimes I'll just grab a random fork if I'm not thinking and I end up I find myself eating probably bigger bites than I should so I'm like okay I need to go back to the <laughs> to the little ones um, now as time goes on I'll transition those out of my kitchen obviously I just need to remember take small bites um, but I definitely still use the plates every day and the bowls if I'm eating something that needs one. Um, just so I can visually feel like I'm getting a lot more than I am. Um, even though I'm just getting what I need and not any more than that. Okay, so those are my top 10 things. I did have two honorable mentions. One, if you're like me and you eat too fast, a timer. Um, you just set this. I set it to 30 minutes, start, and then it beeps when it's done. Pretty easy. If you just have a normal kitchen timer, that works too. Second thing, which I know a lot of people recommend, but I didn't, I used it a couple times, but nothing crazy, is a heating pad uh, for your first like couple days home to help with the, the gas pains and everything like that. Um, it helped me a little bit. It wasn't like my savior, so which is why it's on the honorable mention. Um, so if you have a heating pad, definitely use it if you have one. I, I don't know if I would have gone out and bought one, um, but I know other people swear by it. So those are my 10 things that definitely helped me in my first eight weeks uh, and a couple honorable mentions. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll have everything linked that I can find. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.